Lord, we lift up our hands to you. Lord, because we know there is not before. Lord, that there is not after. Lord, your word said, God, in the beginning of the world, Lord Jesus, the word was with God, and God was with the word. And Lord Jesus, Father, you said in your word, Lord, the world was formless, Lord, Father, it was dark. And God, you said, Lord, let there be light, and there were light. And Lord, you created every living thing, Lord, on this earth. Lord, you placed us on this earth, Lord. Lord, so that God, we may flourish. And Lord Jesus, Father, you will set God. Lord, and we will multiply, Lord Jesus. And Father, oh God, we will own our Father. Lord, who created the heaven and the earth and everything that is in it. Lord, we will bring you praise. We will bring you honor. And we will bring you all glory, Lord. Lord, because we know, Lord Jesus, Father, there is absolutely none. Lord, but only you. And Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, we surrender, Father, our life to you. Lord, we surrender everyone to you this morning. Father, you said in your word that we ought to offer up our body, Lord, holy and pleasing, Lord, unto God as a living sacrifice. Father, that is our first spiritual act of worship, Lord. And Lord, this morning, God, Lord, we offer up, Lord, Lord, everything that is inside of us, Lord. Lord, we offer up our mind, our soul, our body. Lord, we offer it up, up to you, Lord. And Lord, we ask, Lord Jesus, Father, you come and have your way, Lord, in this church this morning. Lord, because it's not by might, not by power, Lord, but it's by the Spirit of the living God. And Lord, we pray this morning, God, Lord, that the same resurrection Spirit, Lord, that raised up Jesus from the grave this morning, is the same Spirit, Lord, Lord, that will raise us up this morning. Lord, you will grace us out, Lord. Lord, out of our situation. Lord, out of our ways. Lord, out of our attitude. Lord, you will raise us out, Lord. Lord, out of every problem. And Lord Jesus, Father, oh God, we will lift up our hands. Lord, and our eyes up to the hills. For where our strength coming from, our strength coming from the Lord who is strong and mighty. Lord, we pray this morning, God. Lord, that you will move through this church, Lord. Lord, you will move through our life, Lord. Lord, you will bring our spirit, Lord. Lord, into a better place, Lord. Lord, into that place, Lord. Lord, that you are calling, Lord. Lord, your people to come into, Lord. Lord Jesus, where we can happily rejoice, Lord, at the name of Jesus. Jesus, my God, my God, Lord, let our heart, Lord, Lord, cry out unto you this morning, Lord, because we know there is a great pouring from the heart of God this morning, Lord, upon your people this morning, God, Lord, I will help us, Lord, Lord, to be better, more educated, Lord. 
Lord, more wisdom, Lord. Lord, more understanding, Lord. Lord, that we will walk this narrow road. Lord, that you put there for us, Lord. Lord, your holy angels, Lord, will be with us today, Lord.
observe this morning, there's a tick anointing in this place. There's an awesome presence of God in this place. A mighty presence of God. I saw Sister Pat last night, I sleep. I get up with Sister Pat in my mind. Let me tell you something. When God lays somebody in my spirit, oh my God. When I was looking to pray for Sister Pat, she was on the corner by the door there, screaming out to God. I didn't even have to be there. Let me tell you something. When God tells you to speak the word, you speak it with authority. You don't have to play people. It's not about playing. It's about being real with God. God could reach you wherever he is this morning. The Spirit of God, there is no limitation to the Spirit of God. I want to ask everyone something before we were saved, before we come to know Christ, and the Spirit of God reached me where we was. The Spirit of God reached me, you know where? In a rum shop. The Spirit of God meet me in a rum shop. And all of a sudden, when I was there, that Sunday morning, people start calling me pastor in a rum shop. The Spirit of God, I don't know where it reached you. If you was in your home, probably was sitting in a car, and something, you know, we say something talk to me, and something tell me so, and some the Spirit of God reached you wherever you was. I don't know. Probably you could have been in a wedding. Probably you could have been under problem, pressure, and the Spirit of God reach you and He speak to you. When the Spirit of God reach you, people, He don't reach you to push you down. He reach you to take you out. God will not reach you to kick you down. God reach you to pick you up. Better run the in the ground, and if I stretch to reach him. I will stretch to pull him up. I will stretch to put him down if I want him down. I will not even put up my hand. He, you are ready now. Is it true? It would make sense I stretch my hand. Leave him ready. Amen. But the thing about it, all of us, when God found us, those say you find God, eh? God was never lost. You was lost. And I was lost. When God found you, or when he find you, you was lost. And the word of God said, our head was stick or stuck in a miry clay. In fact, I ever see tilapia. You ever go to hold tilapia? They stick their head in mud. And they hold behind, beat it up. So some of us was. So some of Now, when it is up, you're sticking head in the mud. And the behind, beat it up. He feeling well hiding on him. Because he is seen. And is the same thing with we? We had, was, I don't know, stick somewhere. Probably your head was stuck in alcohol. Probably your head was stuck in dotishness. Probably your head was stuck in people. And you beat it up. I'm thinking you're well saved. But you hold behind waiting for a bullet. You waited for hot oil. Tilapia talking about. Is he same way with tattoo? Tattoo go push your head in a hole. And they head in a hole. But they hold behind outside. And they feel they're well hiding. And they have to go and hold them and pull them out. Now, are you understand what I say? So, when God reached out and He picked us up, He didn't pick us up to throw us down back. If you was God, if you was God, we is not God, we is people, human beings. But, but, if you was God and you stretch your hand, 
to take me out of sin and rum shop and this and that. Will you take me out to turn around and push me back? If I did not want to take you out, better leave your skin there. Huh? Or oh, you say, leave your tail there. And what happened, happened. God save us because he want us to be safe. Everybody understand? Somebody say Jesus. Come on. Come on. Say Jesus. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. I preach it. I be so simple. I use an until I piano. And I what? I tattoo. When they notice me, I use those other big notes and big things where we can't understand. Until I piano good enough. You study until I piano. Think about your life. And you will understand. Where we was. And until I piano still there enough. But we learn lessons from Idi Lapia. He has still sick of me. But we learn it from Idi Lapia this morning. Amen. We serve a good God, everybody. Everybody. We serve a good God. Amen. Spine bars. Spine bars, yeah. Where are my keyboards? some volume there. That's all it has. Let us look up to Jesus, people. For the word of God said, Lord, use our order. And Lord, you is our finisher. Lord, you is our God. Lord, in whom we trust. Lord, you is our God. Lord, in whom I trust. When I turn around and I look, I don't have to look for my worshippers. Nor is any ground. And drink one of them. Amen. That's why we serve in Jesus. Amen. And the more you laugh, is the more you encourage Jesus. You swell up your mouth, you come to frighten somebody here this morning. But you ever frighten me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, God is a good God. Yes, He is. Everybody know that? Be that drop to the side. Be the beat, that beat. Give me some red up now. God is a good God. Yes, He is. I was doing the other one with the power steering. 
But it, this one is the best for hard staring. You know, longer. Long time. Give my close your mouth. You see, you all need big, big it up here, boy. She want to swallow me here and run here, now. I don't think I'm real she on. Watch it. And she leaned because she had any box, so nobody ever says she. She started your own before that. She come back so. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Everybody, you may have your seats. God bless you. Love you, love you, love you. Hallelujah. Well, 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 well. Church now start, amen. Now start. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Could I call the first lady of the house this morning? I want the first lady come first. That second come. Um, number one. How she looking this morning? I want the church. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. You know, you know what I say. They say behind every, behind every good man is a good woman. You understand? Behind every good man is a good woman. You know what she does? Man, get away, get away, get away. Oh Lord, so good to be in your son, Lord. How she looking? How she looking? Now this is something. Good choice, good choice. What my choice got you so me? Because I don't have my life. You know, it's my choice. Hold on. So you're looking so beautiful this morning. What was in all that? Put the mic by me. Tell the church. Hallelujah. Pleasant good morning, teacher. Yeah. What was in all that? Where are you looking so beautiful this morning? Maybe the Lord. <laughs> Where's that safe? Steve, come, come. Describe, describe she for me now. I, you know, I, I am not in church. <laughs> I want to see Jesus. Steve, describe she now, yeah. Well, prophetess, as you always do, you always look outstanding. I must say, you know, the slippers, I think coordination with the dress, together with the bangles, together with the chain. It's not a dog chain, people. I don't understand why she had the hair blocking the earrings, but the earrings matching too. And the hair fluffy. The hair fluffy. It looked very beautiful this morning, sister. So I like can't compare. Just fix mine too. <laughs> oh, 
How you come in this? How you come in this? You live in here? He's not she's straight. You have to remember the lady's a grandma. And if you can help helping her out, that is a blessing. Remember, we don't have a grandchild and the next one is on the way. Uh, and just now she going she going to New York in the middle of the month and she's staying in the whole year. So Emma, you have to have respect for senior. <laughs> right? And don't worry around in your mouth next to me. Prophetess, good morning. Tell the church something good now. A pleasant good morning again to the church. Everyone looks so lovely. We welcome you. And God is good, amen. Everyone looks so beautiful. The men and all. The men, are, the men are not look beautiful. They look beautiful and handsome also. Oh. And oh, we oh. thank God for each other. Because and these days when you're telling men in churches they're looking beautiful. You gotta watch your tongue at all. You only know what we're doing in them church. Amen? We are encouraging that kind of marriage here. Amen? So men only looking handsome. Ladies only looking beautiful. What do you think about that? Right? Right. Because I know in my whole life when wedding and things taking place in Trinidad and somebody in Philly City go to take up a dollar hen and um, Pinal. Is a dollar hen and a dollar hen coming down the road. I never hear about two dollar hen coming down the road. Even if it have to have an additional person there, how does it call the little fella? Not ring bearer, they're not ring bearer and everything. People are going to live a lot of put between the. Huh? Saibala! I don't think I know what is Saibala. Not Lukani, boy. He wasn't Lukani, he got higher. Where are you from? We're not Lukani. The last Lukani had, she fired a job for good. She opened up and done again. Amen, everybody. God is good. It's good to make a joke. Amen. It's good to laugh, good to make a joke, make people comfortable. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Go like all the youths up in front this morning. Come, youths. Come on, come on. Youths moving like old people. Come on. One, two, three. Skate. That's all. Okay. When we say youths, we want to see youths running up like youths, but the youths are getting up like. You don't want it down there say, yep, and now let's go. When I call up youths, I'm going to say, one, two, three, skit! Okay, we're going to do. We're going to do an East Indian gospel. This is the way to worship Jesus in India. And I'm sure this morning in India, the churches worship in the Lord.
worship you this morning. Unto Jesus this morning. Amen. You know, I look at Josh dancing with the little girl there. And SpongeBob, this is a couple dance. SpongeBob ain't nobody to dance with. So I said, Josh, you dance with she. Here, Josh, I will give I will give he it. I said, what do you will give a it? I said, are yours? I'll give it to me. No, but not yours. Keep it for yourself. Now you go next one. The Lord will provide for Spamba. The Lord will provide. Right? Praise the Lord. God is a good provider. Will he help a heart? Yeah. Will you give us sunny other gifts? Yeah. Will you sing with me? Let's worship the Lord. Worship, worship the Lord. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
came to receive his soul. Amen? But he looked like Ellie wanted to chip out some people's soul. I see a little that stick going so. Ellie, I don't watch you, boy. Praise the Lord. We got to do uh, Anil Aziz. Yeah, man. Take it up. Take it up. Take it up. Take it up. Yeah. That's why 
to see what you're going to do. Sometimes you say, pray, boy, I'm praying. Lord, everything went good. Lord, but you know, if we look at way, Lord, but like some jumpy take me. I don't know what happened. Like all of a sudden, I'm praying. But like I got lost. If you walk with God, God will set aside a minute just to see how faithful you is. Because when you pray, you will cry out and you will say, Lord, I will do anything for you. And God will stand aside to see if he's a liar or if he's, or if he's the truth. Why you go to church, your pocket might go broke. Come on. Everybody listening? Tell them I'm going to Alright. Okay. While you follow Jesus, you might go broke in your pocket. You might find, but I go to church. And God is supposed to be providing for me all the time. But why money gone low? That is like God pull aside a little bit to see what you will do. To see if you say what you mean or all you mean what you say. There are plenty of people say things but they don't mean it. And plenty of people mean things but they don't say it. It's like plenty of people they hear but they don't listen. And they listen and they don't hear. Either way. Why you following Jesus? Some problem might come. The Bible said, didn't say it. it wouldn't come. In. Because following Jesus is walking in the light. And darkness will slip in. Yeah. Darkness will come. You always expect the darkness to come from San Fernando. Or to come from Puerto Spirito. Right in your house. They come in your house. Let me tell you something. Why the devil want to come for you? You think the devil will take a helicopter to come? Amen. You think the devil has to take a helicopter to come? The devil will come right. He will just appear. You might be going down the road in your car and all of a sudden the devil jump on somebody with the next car next to you and the devil riding blow it on beep and you write it on red light on you supposed to stop but the devil in the back of you blow it on for you to go so that you could get charged Telling you, God, He step aside to see what you will do. Everybody listening, He step aside to see what you will do. The word of God said, How unsearchable! Anybody know the depth of God's love for you? Anybody know that? Let me tell you something. When you slip up, when I slip up, when anybody slip up, you know what I mean by slip up? Okay, let me put it when you slip down. When you slip down, you start to question you. Nobody here talking to you. You start to talk to you. And say, boy, I wonder, boy, with all this sin, with all this wrong, I wonder if God will really pick up again, boy. Huh? And you start to search. You start to search. And let me tell you something. He is so unsearchable, you can't even search him. Because You cannot even begin to imagine.
our dream. You cannot visualize. God's love for you is so unsearchable. When you search, you search, I search, you know what we find sometimes? We find condemnation inside of us. Tell me if I'm lying. We find condemnation inside of us. And that condemnation that we find inside of us, we judge ourselves by the condemnation that we find inside of us. But that is not God. Let me read a little more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just read it back one more time. Oh, the depth of the richness of wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgment and his path beyond tracking out. It's not the air you're hunting for, no. You can't track him. No. Now, verse 34, hear what he said. Who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Hey, people, let me tell you something. You cannot be no religious, pretending preacher to tell me you know the mind of God. Counselor, someone might counsel you, but I want to ask you who you think is God counselor? Who you think when they put God to them and say, God, let me talk to you? When you speak a word, you must stand by your word. God, when you say that you went, your son went on the cross and he died and he shed his blood. How deep is that blood? How deep that blood went for your people? How deep? You think you could sit down and really question God? Ceremony. You think you could really question God? Anybody? Could anybody really counsel God? Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. 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 Anybody know the mind of God? Who is God counselor? You think you could sit down and tell God, God, look, sister, hey, my dear. And Lord, God, you put God sit down because you want, to, you want to counsel God about sister, hey, man. And God, you think you know how she is operating, God? God, why are you still as she playing keyboard? And God looked back at you. And he said, Devil, Satan, get behind me. Satan, get behind me. Because God will know that it's the devil and you trying to confuse him about she. Nice. You think you can go in your knees and buy a bottle of coconut oil and soak your head? Drink a bottle and put your rest in your head? I said, God, you know, I am praying to his little Lord. And God, I'm telling you, if you have killed all the people, Lord, they are good, they are good, they are good. Lord, oh God, I'm telling you, I kill them. I hope you are rest in peace. God will tell you, coconut for oil and put it in your head. Satan, come and 
Dragon Ball X in. Let me tell you something. Who is this ghost that way? Anybody know your mind? You would know your mind. You would know your mind. And plenty of people don't know their mind. But they know it's a mind people business. You bad? They care mind and foul. But they mind, they know all your business at all. But what I'm saying, who know the mind of God? Who is this counselor? God know everyone here this morning. And you know what God know? That he love you. God know that he pull you out of the miry clay. God know when he pull you out of the miry clay. He know how much time you're gonna fall after. He don't know. He don't know already. He said a righteous man fall seven times, seventy. And he get God under the calculation. Oh, you, hear that? you see, God look at your inside people. God is sit on and check how much time you fall. And the amount of time you fall, well, no more blessing. Let me tell you something, you might fall more than somebody else. And when the blessing comes, God still bless you first. And that person might say, but I only fall one time. He feels as quick as they play now. Die not quick as long. Huh? He might say, that's not real. You know, long time you play cricket. If you get out with the first ball, they say, that's real, that's real. All right, everybody now. That is not cricket, people. No. That is not cricket. God loves and calls unsearchable power beyond any darkness for you. It's to save you, bring you out. God, God, who could come to you? You must not be from that God and bad talk me with you. Go bad talk me with God. Go. Say so God, you know, Prophet Benny, that one old crook. Go tell him. Go tell him. So go on here, you stick up in the air for a leg. Yeah, that's a long time thing, long time thing. Yeah, go on. And when the wife went cooking, they said, we put the belt in the bush. Go on, tell go on, go on. You go. But I'm going to win that one because I said, God, how you going to go brand in a pot? Kiss me, brother, me. But what I'm talking about, And all of them pick up boulders. You know boulders? Like when they put in them assessment. Big boulders. And they might be saying, I'm going to go and cheat today. I'm going to be she good. So all of them are the boulders. And they're running the nail chair. Jesus come and he said, Every one of you who are no sin, who have no sin, bear the four boulders. All of them, man. <laughs> because the last time Satan wanted to destroy you, man. Satan gave her exit. They could not play the borders. Because their hand would have got struck, their mouth would have got struck, and the borders would have come back and pumped them in the mouth. Don't play that game. Let me read a little more. So, we read verse 34. Who has known the mind of the Lord or who has been his counselor? If you know, you can tell me. I don't know. Eh? I don't know. Probably my, 
I don't know if you read any book and you hear who is God counselor. Tell me, I don't know. I really don't know. Why. I don't know. Don't put me in your comments. We read on verse 35. Who has ever given to God that God should repay him? Hey! Well! <laughs> Lord, for from him and through him and to him are all things. Let me ask you something. Who got so long in front of God and say, God, I give to you and you have to repay me. The word of God say, who? Tell me one person that gives to God and they can go back to God and say, God, I give to you. You have to repay me. Hey. Probably, I might be stupid, but me and Otis, boy. Me and Otis, I and Otis. If you have your qualification along that line, you go tell God that. Don't put me in that. Soon as you open your mouth and say, God, I give to you. God said, all right, all right. I won't come. God said, I won't put you through all that trouble. You want to give more to me and to you. I won't put you through that trouble. Tonight, you know, let me take your life right now so you will not give to me. Oh, he did Wow! Right? So, so you ain't living to go and give again. All you understand, people? Teaching! For the lack of wisdom, God be prepared. Have a lady in Shawana, it's not Mrs. Mom, and not she. I'm telling you, treat them, and not she. Somebody close to she. One call in him, she know who it is. The earthquake. Not his recent earthquake, but that I would pick up. And it really didn't get it, didn't get it. You know, like, didn't get it, mama. And when the earthquake come, it's shaking. And she hold on the wall in the house. In Shabuana, the, the wall, she does. She show me up to an aunt prophetess. <laughs> and she said, God, remember me. I, and then he called you my name. She called she name, man, but I wouldn't call she name. She said, I, that worship you. God, the holy house. So she made a wall, could have fallen and killed she. She holding a big concrete wall. Me? I would have hold that. I want to stay somewhere and say, Lord, protect me. I will hold up a concrete wall. And the wall shaking and she going to. God, this is me. I'm going to tell you something. If God wanted the wall to fall together with the house, he could have thrown them together with she. But because of the grace of God, God save she, God save she house, God save she family. Anybody understand? You know the message this morning here? Yeah? The message, do not condemn yourself. Do not. Do not. Satan, Satan came to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but Jesus came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. You sit down in your belly when you hear voices speaking and reminding you you know God pushed you away because I was at the number nine ten step but because of this I gone back to number one or zero devil you're a liar the devil is a liar because if we've gone before you who could be a 
against you. When God promotes you, who can demote you? If God promotes you, who would help the demote you? not promote you. Promotion come from God. Promotion, first promotion come in the spirit. You want to be promoted. You want to be close to God. You want to have relationship with God. That promotion can't come from man, but that come from God. What come from? Who God bless? No man does. When you see people and they teach something to somebody in the mouth just so and they start to drop out. Not telling you the truth. And they're going up in the ground. It's because they use their mouth to say something that is not supposed to say. So you say, God, anoint my mouth. Lord, anoint my mouth. One day a woman come with a stick. Tell her. I see miracles so in my life. If I turn back from God, he should really take my life and get her in. As a woman come with a stick and she walk in, she come in, not here, when I was carrying on the church in Freeport. For me, I see the woman. She's a prayer for me now. She, if I see how she was, anybody was there, anybody saw the woman? Look, Rado, Rado, raise your hand high. Rado saw the woman. The woman said, pray for me. For me, she sit down and said, me tell her something. Personally, I tell you. I say, you see, all the people you want to do Obia for, all the people you want to do witchcraft for, repent. Repent. Tell God you're sorry. I said, let me tell you, let me tell you who you do that. You do that for your neighbor. You try to kill your neighbor. Is it true? He said, yes, it's true. It's true. And I'm watching the person next to she to see if she don't she ain't got a sign to say, shut him up. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. God don't know already. And because the woman was honest, pray for she. I feel like electricity. I feel the power of God run through that woman. And let me tell you something. They didn't make her a week after. No stick and big man, woman, bouncing in the church. The woman healed by the power and the name of Jesus. Come on, people. Lesson there. 
time you think that you're going through problem and you feel like God is not around, that is the time to pray. That is the time to be obedient. That is the time to go to church. That is the lesson I learned. When my boss said, when I'm not here, you must work. If you want to take a rest, go hide below a truck while I'm working, while I'm here, and you take a rest. Not a driving truck, eh? You have some shut down truck without wheel. Or let you go and light up below no truck. I say, I tell her, let go below truck. Amen? Because they have, they have a garage and they have some truck pack up and it well block up good. And that shade below there. You say you can go and take a rest. And this is a lesson that God is teaching us when you feel you're going through hell and nobody is around. Pray. 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 And pray. And you will see God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Give God a big clap. Hallelujah. Woo! Somebody say Jesus! 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 Woo! Woo! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love Jesus so much. Amen. I love him so much. When I go to Sunday school, I remember a song we used to sing. I love him better every day. Why? I love him better every day. Why? Close by his side, I will abide. I love him better every day. Why? You know what I mean? I love him better every day. I love him better every day. Close by his side, I will abide. I love him better every day. And there's the next song. Satan is a sly old fox. If I catch him, I put him in a box. Lock the box and Show me the key for the tricks he played on me. I'm so glad I am a Christian. I'm so glad I am a Christian. I'm so glad I am a Christian. For Jesus tell me so. Everybody, we serve a good God. Hallelujah. And I love the next one. Jesus loved the little children. All the children of the world. All of we are children. Eyes of God. Amen. Red or yellow. Black or white. They are precious in his sight. Jesus loved the little children of the world. Hey man, watch it, man. I know hey man, want me to sing and see when she's fighting. But I'm not going to sing that for you. Hey man, God is a good God. Hey man, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Well, this morning, everybody, everybody, let's do something. Let's do something. Put your hand on your chest. Put your hand on your chest. One hand on your chest. Close your eyes. And say, Lord, I am a sinner. Lord, I have sinned. Lord, I am sorry. Lord, I repent. Lord, I repent. Lord, for all my mistakes. Lord, I repent. Lord, for all. Lord Jesus, my fault. For all my fault, all my weakness. Lord, I pray. Come into my heart right now. Come and dwell in me, Lord. Come and take full control. Come, Holy Spirit, take control. Can we stand? 
Give your offering, your tithes, and your hands. 